400 years old. At least 90 percent purity. Say to hear it. Soft to the touch. It was only a matter of time. This is going to be the biggest haul of gold artifacts in the history of Adam's exploration. Adam's exploration? In the history of the world. Bon travail.
Vieni, entra. Sei diventato zio. Si chiama Hans. Giovanni voleva chiamarlo Giorgio, però poi alla fine abbiamo scelto Hans. A maggio fa già tre anni. Ora è dai nonni. Sì, però la prossima settimana lo conoscerai. Eh? Cin. Accidenti! Quant'era che non bevevi una birretta? Eh? <ride> che lavoro pensi di fare ora, Jack? Joe. No, 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 amore. Senti, che fai? Vai ancora in giro per deserti a fare la caccia al tesoro? Sono un archeologist. Sono professionista. Lavoro per un'azienda, non faccio la caccia al tesoro. Beh, sempre caccia al tesoro, eh. E dai, Gio! Ma Gio cosa? Io sono 25 anni che lavoro e non sono mai stato in galera. Ora basta! Non può stare qua, è un criminale. È mio fratello. E poi non è colpa sua. Jack nemmeno sapeva che se faceva degli scavi all'Unione Europea era un reato. Non mi frega quello che fa. È un criminale che si nasconde dietro il suo dottorato. E tiello lontano da nostro figlio. Still up in the air, Matthew. Our business is the salvage and recovery of treasure. It looks bad if a hundred thousand gold coins go missing. And they're killing us in the press. We won't have a CEO until this is resolved. The king is a king from birth. The coronation is just a formality. Romantic? Your sister might disagree. My sister doesn't have the stomach for this job. She's just a scientist. She has to be placated somehow. Your father gave her a journal with enough documents to blow this whole thing to bits. No, she'd never hurt this company. She doesn't have the balls to use a nuclear option like that. This fight will take place in the boardroom. And I own the boardroom. Yes, but... So typical of my father. He spends his whole life pillaging, pirating, only to get a guilty conscience at the end. Still, I think he's right. And when I run this company, I'm gonna run it clean. Remember, be diplomatic. Her CFO, head of research, a Karen. I've been diplomatic with her my entire life. It's time she learns that there is a new balance of power. You've got some fucking nerve calling me today after you screwed everything up. Excuse me? The security you insisted upon hiring was useless. My interns could have done a better job. All I know is that you failed to stop them. I almost got shot execution style by a man who used to come to our family barbecue. So pardon me all the fucking hell, but I'm not in the mood for a teachable moment from you right now. My sympathies, Maeve, truly. But I'm CEO now, and you just cost our company a billion dollars. What? You're not sleeping. Maeve, Ernest here, if I may. Your father implemented security measures. Because of today, we had to vote for an interim CEO. And I'm sorry for your ordeal. <laughs> I'll fight you in the boardroom and win. See you at the fucking meeting. She'll fall in line. It's the beginning of a new era. If it's one thing I've learned from your father, never underestimate your own family. A leader has to show strength. 
and Sir Francis Drake was sent to raid the Spanish, his co-commander Thomas Doughty tried to take control. Thomas Doughty was a gentleman, a scholar, and a war hero. But Drake was the captain, and one of them was beheaded the next day. I understand your long-standing fascination with Sir Francis Drake, but I'm not sure the same logic applies to 21st century Hong Kong. That's bullshit. This company needs a captain. My sister's not going to get the votes because she spent her entire life reading about history. And I've spent my entire life understanding. Everything's in here. An Ica stone? This is Mesopotamian. This room is actually Akkadian, but uh... Look, are you gonna be doing this here or back at your appraisal office? You're selling it? Well, you're from the university, right? I'm sorry, I, I just want to get this over with. I think there's been a misunderstanding. I came here to find you. You're Jack Reardon, right? Sorry, do I know you? You ever seen one of these? It's a Goddard's double eagle. Last gold coin circulated by the U.S. Mint. Beautiful. It was worth $20 in 1933. Want to guess how much it's worth now? Look, I don't know what got you out of your comfy little office, but I'm not interested. I need you to steal something for me. Excuse me? Look, I don't know who you think I am, but I am not your guy. I think you are, Jack. The biggest find in modern history. 100,000 gold coins touched by the Inca themselves. More gold than King Tut's tomb. More gold than 10,000 of these combined. Isn't this what you live for? Stop. You were the best, Jack. You found things we didn't even know existed, let alone were still preserved. Isn't that what all this stuff is about? Stop. I am not just talking about the thrill of the find. I'm talking about history. 500 years of blood, sand, and gold in one goddamn chest. Look, I don't know what you think I did or was. But it's over. The last treasure hunt I went on, the only thing I found was a back of a jail cell. I'm out. Everyone has a price. $750,000. That's how much it's worth now. Don't tell me you're afraid to fly. Not a 
afraid to fly. I don't like flying. You and my brother Matthew, the only thing keeping him from monopolizing the company jet. Once our dad died, he went straight for the fucking throne. Why are you afraid to fly? Sorry, you've been talking this whole time. I'm certainly paying you enough. We have one week to find this Jack before the board meeting. One week? So what's your plan? Find the culprit, find the gold. This is the last place Henry was before they took off with everything. Well, it's your money. Of course, I'll need a gun. No guns. Well, Henry has a gun, in case you forgot. Henry didn't shoot me. He saved my life. I'm going through the local authorities on this one, Jack. Supposed to be meeting the police chief. Henri Gagnon, il a travaillé pour ma famille pendant 12 années. Jamais vu. Je ne connais pas cette personne. Il était ici. I lived with him here for months. C'est pas le belle. C'est pas le parfinger. Looks like a dead end. I have a few more questions for Farouk. I'll be outside. Send the plane back. Matthew wants to parade me in front of the board as a goddamn failure. Maybe Matthew's right. Leave it to the professionals. I do have one thing. I stole his phone. Look at the last number dialed. Hong Kong. 
I haven't really heard a lot of Mandarin around here, have you? So? So, a billion dollars of gold is worth nothing until you sell it. Skip the lecture, Jack. What's your plan? Go to the biggest black market in the world, find your gold, steal it back. <laughs> That's what I paid you $750,000 to tell me? My accounts are frozen, Jack. Look, we do this my way. I've got some contacts. I can set us up for a bit. <laughs> and this black market of gold is in Hong Kong? The middle of the Middle East. Golden City. Dubai. Miss Adams, the company's recalling us. The plane leaves at 20. We'll be outside. Well, I guess you gotta choose, man. One thing. We do this. I'm gonna need a gun. Salam. Let me get a good look at you. I figured it was only a matter of time before you came calling. And you've arrived just in time. There's a sitting room inside for your wife. There's only 20 of these in the world. I won him in a poker tournament in Marrakesh. Impressive, eh? So, how's business? Business? What business? Governments are ambushing any new digs, any findings. They're suing private companies for their treasure because of this new salvage law. Well, I guess I got out of a good time. Yeah, which is why I'm surprised you're even back here. You know what? Since that whole uh, Black Swan investigation, I haven't bought anything for my trophy room. No one has. No one? Well, there's word of a gentleman from Hong Kong, the only one stupid enough to pay cash for black market items. They say he speaks Japanese. That's just a rumor. Enough business. Come. His name is Zara. He's an exhibitor. Look at these birds, exhibitors. They always kill their prey the same way, ambush. You can never be too careful when dealing with the sovereign nations of the world. I'm throwing a party and anyone who's anyone this side of the Gulf will be there. You must come. I'm not sure if that would be a good idea. I know your weakness. Where do we go next? I don't fly, I don't drive, I ride bikes. Can you come next? I'm fine here. Oh, see yourself. Quite impressive, both in his research 
and in his pursuit of fellow colleagues. We're not here to talk about the past, Charlotte. We're here to talk about the future. The past is all around us, Jack. That was always your problem, both as a student and as an archaeologist. Always the vision, never the patience. Well, I guess that's why I'm here. I'm trying to correct that. So what's the treasure this time? We're looking for late 16th century Elizabethan. I heard rumors about this. I'm not so out of the loop, Jack. Whitman's Red Books, top shelf. I thought your boy was lost to me. Because of prison? Because he forgot the golden rule of archaeology. The work is about the history, not the person who uncovers it. Jack was so easily distracted, both by fortune and glory. That can come later. But you seem to bring something out in him. I don't know about that. Got it. A column of gold as far as the eye can see. Minted coins, bracelets, and jewels all taken from the tombs of the Inca. The mysterious Hall of Drake. Even my nephew today brings his little prospect pan to the beach in search of Drake's gold. The gold we found was Incan. It had an engraving, a Spanish symbol. Something like this. Oh my god. It is Drake's. But why would it be in Western Sahara? Because he was taking it to the Canary Islands. He knew the Spanish would search his ship. Knowing that, he leaves his treasure across the channel in the Western Sahara, hoping to come back for it. And that's where I found him.
was that back there? His name is Assam. Look, last place he went on his GPS. The Gold Souk. Largest gold market in the world. Seems like a good place to start. I told you, you can't trust anyone in this city. Especially your driver. Just now me.
to stay in the car. Just give me the keys. Give me the keys! <laughs> Are we going undercover? Well, I thought we'd make an entrance. But I like how quickly you've embraced a life of crime. I learned from the best. Japanese buyer coming to them? Surprise! My favorite sister. Your only sister. You don't fly. I lost my fear of flying the day I became CEO. If you'll excuse us.
Give it to me. You got it from my brother, didn't you? Give it to me, Paige! Calm down! Let's just talk to him about it, okay? Skinny Suleba. What? What's my sister paying you? A million? A million five? Less. Really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Here, huh? I'll give you two million dollars to walk away right now. And what do you get out of it? You know how this business works. It's not about digging for treasure anymore. It's, it's claiming rights and lawsuits and government oversight. It's making the connections necessary so that companies like mine ensure profit. How can you honestly see my sister handling any of them as CEO? She has a gentle... And that's why I was so saddened by the loss of Drake's gold. It would have been a real feather in the cap. That's who you are, huh? The second coming of Drake. Exactly. We were both privateers and great ones. He was a pirate licensed by a company, so am I. This ship was the Golden Hind. Mine is a red Mercedes SLS. <laughs> I guess the thing that you're forgetting now is that Drake went insane and beheaded his best friend. Oh, you're speaking of Thomas Dowdy. You got a little too close, didn't you? Dowdy. Take my money. I know, and now I'm just gonna have to fix it. Matthew, you're drunk. Hey, this is your sister we're talking about. Matthew, this is not how we do things. Would you rather we were both in jail? I'd rather you come clean about this. We put everything found. That way the company can get back to what it does best, finding ancient ruins. And what? That every country within 2,000 miles slowly claw our findings back. Fuck no. I find I keep. There are legal means to handle this, Matthew. It takes time, yes. 
but it's the best thing for this company. Do you spare me your fucking morality and legal issues, Ernest? Your lawyers all think the same. But you know the shit this company's been doing. Four years to stay afloat. You're a part of it. It's politics. Okay, what do you want? I want may have taken out. And I'm gonna need a cleanup over here. Room 77. You know the place. Matthew, what are you talking about?
news. Uh, bad news is, our mode of transportation is completely fucked. Uh, good news is, who survived? Kill Connery! What? Kill Connery! Means this is bullshit. That's what my dad used to say. And Matthew and I would laugh. Which would only make him angrier. I didn't want to get back into this. What? The salvage game. Black Swan, the Spanish got that. All I got was four years of good behavior. I'm not going back to fucking prison. Then why are you here? Same reason as you, I guess. History. With everything that we've solved and that we know, that there's still something left to be discovered. Mm -hmm. The idea that a single gold coin could be mined by the Inca, stolen by the Spanish, and touched by Sir Francis Drake. L'histoire est vivante! <laughs> you speak all these languages. How do you not speak French? How would you say? I wish I could take you back to your office tomorrow. J'aurais la chance de pouvoir te ramener à votre bureau demain. you to a back room. Je te vendrai dans une pièce à l'arrière. I take off all your clothes. J'en ai vrai. Tout tes habits. I slide my fingers up your legs. Je glisserai mes doigts sur tes cheveux. Let's fuck you on the table. Je te baiserai sur la table. I, uh, I think you'd be a great CEO. Yeah? Guess we'll never know. Charlotte's the type of archaeologist who can't stand that the gold isn't in the wing of the Smithsonian as we speak.
glad you survived. I need a cigarette. You smoke? When I'm about to destroy my father's company and my birthright, I do. It's a shame you've made up your mind. When you got me started on Drake's gold, I did some more research. I know where your brother's keeping it. How? Adams has thousands of load sites around the globe. If he even decided to use that, it could be anywhere. My dear child, have you learned nothing? History repeats itself. Not only does an offshore recovery guarantee he won't be taxed on his findings, but a true historian like your brother would be only too happy to fulfill its destiny. Drake was trying to get to the Canary Islands when he died. So you're saying that Matthew is crazy enough to try to do what Drake never could? That's insane. Well, for Matthew, that's par for the course. Doesn't matter. I made up my mind. I need a ticket to Switzerland. I'm going to show up at the bank and put the journal into custody. It's done. Look, when you showed up, I was in a bad place. But you convinced me that we could make history. The biggest find of this generation, remember? More gold in King Tut's tomb. Jack, you came because I was paying you. Yeah, maybe. But it's bigger than that now. Maeve, what have you got to lose? Why not bring down your brother and reclaim what you rightfully found? No. If you turn Matthew in, he could destroy everything before you can get to it. The biggest salvage hall in the history of modern times destroyed, like the Buddhas of Bamyan. The history of the world destroyed by a selfish, greedy bastard. So we follow the gold to the Canary Islands. Then get killed by Matthew's endless army of Henry's? Don't be stupid, child. We won't go alone.
Ay, Dios mío. Do I look like I run a hospital wing here? Just because I am the closest thing to a hospital on this island? Are you going to tell me what happened now? It's from a knife. Si, sí, como no. From a knife. It's a lead bullet. Nope, you're not going anywhere tonight. Because you're too dense to understand that running an international salvage company means keeping our findings from our competition. Our father used this place for years as a warehouse for black market gold. You think we were just given this life? You spent your years digging for treasure, fueled by clean money, by dividends? Do not say that about Dad. He was the best scientist, archaeologist that either of us ever knew. Dad was a criminal. This line of work is criminal. I'm just being rational because someone has to start running the family business. Dad had his faults, but he was not a murderer. What do you think would happen if we reported this to the Western Sahara, or this to Spain or France? Claiming rights and lawsuits for the rest of our lives. I am not a goddamn law firm, Maeve. I'm an archaeologist. You are not an archaeologist. You're a psychopath. And I'll be damned if I let you take down Adams and run it into the ground. Says the girl who's about to release our father's journal. It's a good thing I'm stopping that. Never. Ever? You actually think you're the one in control? I brought you here. To get that code. And destroy Dad's journal. Take her inside. Soplapoyas. Venga. Wake up. You mentioned a castle last night. Which one? The Canary Island has many. Drake. They all three castles. Castillo de San Juan Bautista. Castillo de San Cristóbal. Castillo de San Andrés. Name it. No, it's... You mean Castillo de la Muerte? No one goes there. No one. Not even tourists. Well, that's because it's rigged to explode. That's a legend. Un cazafortunas, un imbécil, un supersticioso, un cabrón pendejo. This is not going to work.
and give me a code name. And I'll make sure the greatest salvage company in the world lives to fight another day. That's what our father wants. Brother, what happened? That was a good day. I need help, Matthew. When did it stop becoming about the work? About finding ancient civilizations? About uncovering secrets that no one else in the world could know? That's enough. Give me the code. What, so you can destroy it? Like you did Noor, and Henry, and Jack? And that hooker in Dubai who was so coked out of her mind she didn't know she was fucking a psycho. Oh, stupid bitch. <laughs> you are the princess, the by the book scientist. I'm the one who knows where the bodies are buried. I'm your sister. I'm CEO. Drake is my destiny. And if that surprises you, then you never truly knew me. Nobody moves. You're bluffing. Try me. Okay, Jack. Look around. This is what you've been searching for. From the Incas to the Spanish to Drake to me here. Archaeologists have been waiting 400 years to be in your position. You're not going to blow it all up. You're not going to kill me. You know you're right, Matthew. There's no difference between a privateer and a pirate. They both take what's not theirs.
give up. I'll let Maeve live. Okay. It's fitting, isn't it? I mean, you're dying at the hands of an antique. <laughs> I found your gun. He died alone, sick, his body eating itself from the inside out. Explorer of the earth, conqueror of empires, left his final mission. miss it? I have responsibilities now. Besides, you said you like to work alone. Yeah, for this I might need an accomplice. A weekend, four days max. This is a new good jail. Carbon dating checks out. Seems impossible, but it's real. Holy fucking shit. How do you say that in French? <laughs> 